Haley, thank you again for doing this. And um, so Grace Bowen was a huge inspiration um, to you, and you really had a connection with her. Can you just touch on that? Yeah, Grace was just an amazing uh, little fireball and a spirit, and you know how so much, you know, it's almost like she lived such a long life for only being nine years old. She had so much wisdom and uh, her ability to just be resilient and go through so much that she did and yet inspire so many people. She was, uh, you know, an amazing little girl. And now, uh, you know, her sister Mackenzie will carry on her legacy and her, her mom and dad, Greg and Andrea, and they're just an amazing family. And uh, I'm really lucky to have met them. Yeah. Now, you mentioned about um, when you're going to the Olympics and any moment between um, doing any little shot or it's, it's with winning or losing. Can you touch on that, how you define that? Yeah, I mean, I think the, def, you know, the difference between winning or losing or you know, success and failure is sometimes just the smallest of details or the littlest of things. And it you know, goes with even this event tonight. I mean, just a, a chance meeting with Brian Reed in Las Vegas. Yeah. And, you know, and then I've got this opportunity here tonight and we can honor Grace and, and Attitudes for Education. Right. So just the people in the community that have stepped up to volunteer, they're just amazing. And the spirit that lives here is just phenomenal. And now growing up, um, as you were in many different sports, did you have an idol that you kind of looked up to in hockey or any sport? Well, I loved uh, uh, Gretzky and Massier and the Oilers of the 80s. They were my heroes, so now they seem like they're pretty old yeah. now uh, today's, but that's who I grew up idolizing. I mean, I just love watching all the great hockey players now, and you can learn so much from, from everyone. Yeah. yeah. Now, you were talking about um, different people and how you connect with them, and you go to many different events, and just like the one today, and you connect with people, uh, maybe hockey players or people just watching you on TV. How does that really relate to you, and what do you love about doing it? Well, I mean, I grew up in a small town in Saskatchewan. I didn't come from anywhere fancy, and I, you know, I relate to small communities and, um, you know, just people, how people band together. It's always a small group of people that band together and get all the work done always and chipping in and just, you know, what we've seen here tonight in this town and all these volunteers that have come forward to make this happen and send this little, this girls team to Calgary to Wickfest. It's going to be great. And, you know, it's just the start of something beautiful. But I think in a small town, everybody has to chip in. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had really big inspiration on Grace and the community. Uh, people were looking up to you and going through a hard time. Um, what do you have to say about that? Well, I just, I mean, I'm really grateful for the people that I've met in Coburg and surrounding areas and just the stories that I've heard of people that have stepped up, whether it's, you know, staff in the hospitals, people in the community, just to everybody. I mean, when people are going through a difficult time, they need support. And I think that this community has really rallied around a family going through, a, you know, the worst possible situation. And uh, it really has touched my heart. And it's something that, you know, I could think about Grace probably almost every day in some way. I have her picture on my counter. and. And, uh, you know, I think she'll always be in my heart as she will be in this community. Well, thank you, Haley Wickenheiser, for all that you did tonight, and thank you for this interview. Okay, thanks. You're rocking it, man. Keep going. That's awesome. Oh. I'm impressed. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.